We recognized uh, many years ago that Penn State has a tremendous resource in terms of the whole materials area that's important to just about everything that we do in life these days. You know, we decided to build on that strength by adding a number of additional faculty uh, in the area of materials and by significantly improving the infrastructure that we have, both in our buildings as well as our labs and core facilities. The Millennium Science Complex brings together the scattered facilities, scientific instruments, and technical staff of the Materials Research Institute and consolidates them in a pure research building in the heart of the Penn State University Park campus's Science Corridor. The building's wings are occupied by two of Penn State's premier research organizations, the Huck Institutes for the Life Sciences and the Materials Research Institute. The Millennium Science Complex is also conceived as a symbol of the convergence of the physical and life sciences and a gateway to 21st century research. The Nanofabrication Lab offers a variety of unique capabilities that build on our strengths in materials and materials integration. Faculty, students, and staff at the Nanofabrication Lab are also involved in the development of new capabilities, such as the ability to pattern um, at the nanometer scale on substrates with extreme curvature. Crucial to research in advanced materials are the underground quiet labs designed to accommodate the most powerful microscopes available today and those that have yet to be built. Isolated from vibrations on 24-inch thick concrete slabs separated from the rest of the building, these labs are also shielded from acoustic and electromagnetic noise. So some of the microscopes that we have here are able to image individual atoms. And in order to do that, you have to make sure that the microscope is not vibrating because you need to be able to acquire the image over um, a second. This is a double aberration corrected TEM made by FEI called a Titan Cubed. Um, some of the things that it can do that are unique are that we can interrogate atomic columns or individual atoms with EDS and EELS. Besides that, we can also collect three-dimensional um, images um, using tomography. We purchased a remote um, workstation, so that way as our um, partners at other universities and other industries want to um, use it, we could actually send them the workstation so they can actually operate the microscope as if they were right here in the laboratory. Students and visiting researchers are trained to operate sophisticated instruments and analyze data while interacting with experts on staff who make themselves available to answer technical questions. I really can't say enough good things about the Millennium Science Complex and I think what it has enabled uh, not only technically for MCL, uh, but I think really if you take a higher level uh, look at the research dialogue uh, that it has really enabled. One thing I know for sure is companies recognize when a group or a person really understands the material and its processing. Companies will find those places because they can help. Um, you've got to be the best if, if you're going to be able to help companies because they're looking to really improve and lower the cost and improve the performance all at the same time.